everybody, this is Trevor and my channel, Social Dilemma. Uh, a few days ago, I heard a trucker, who's uh, a trucker of 40 years in the United States, talking about the only way that we can get this economy turned around. I mean, we, we have to drop gas prices, okay? Gas prices, um, like here in Canada, we're paying... Uh, just for regular gasoline uh, about you know it's over two dollars for regular gasoline and you know and that means diesels around 230 and I mean that's per liter so you multiply that by 3.79 and the Canadian dollars worth about 78 cents on the US dollar I mean multiply that in I think it's around eight dollars a gallon if you were in the you know if you in the US right now that's how much it would you'd be paying so that's how we're, much we're getting fleeced here in Canada so but this trucker I've heard and I've heard a few truckers say this that uh, what we need is a, a worldwide or you know at least a North American wide uh, trucker strike and you know th this is this goes beyond you know truckers like protesting and whatnot that you know um, that didn't seem to work, and that just angered, especially here in Canada, it angered the government. So what I heard with this, this uh, trucker suggest, hey, just park your truck in your driveway. Uh, you know, if you're an owner-operator, if you're a company guy, you're just, you're just not going to drive the truck. And uh, see how long it takes before Trudeau and Biden, you know, intervene and say, hey, <laughs> You know, we, we got to get these gas prices down. And I've heard that. I've heard that. Truckers shutting down for 60 days. And did you talk to any trucker? You thought, and, you know, in, in case you didn't know, if truckers shut down, okay, it wouldn't take more than three days to have the North American economy grind to a halt. Okay, there would be nothing in the stores. Okay, you look at Walmarts now. And Walmarts, uh, as one example around the mid 90s started uh, their stock rooms were getting smaller and smaller so they could increase their floor space so they could put products out and it's called just in time delivery you know every day there's a, a tractor trailer pulling up to that walmart unloading and they have a little bit of room in the back maybe to fit for a couple of uh you know, the tractor trailers you know the, the, the trailers maybe they got enough space for a few trailers worth of goods back there but they're basically unloading that truck and taking it right out to the floor and you know hey that seems to make big that makes sense right in a in a roundabout kind of good way i guess you got to uh, there's more space to put on the floor so you're just bringing that product in but but that kind of system works great for you know you got deliveries coming in every day but when you have a system where, you know, trucks aren't coming in, and trucks are starting to not come in. Okay, you look at the fuel prices in Canada, United States, and truckers, they're shutting down. Um, you know, I, you know, they're just, they're running out of money. Okay, they, they can't afford these gas prices. You know, gas prices are way up. Their freight prices are down. Uh, they're barely making any money. Now, the smart owner operators, okay, the independent guys have... Again, this fellow who said we should shut down for 60 days, the trucker should shut down. Um, he says, you know, every trucker should have six months worth of truck payments in the bank, okay, for, for bad times. And maybe, I don't know, it'd be nice if they all did, but I, it, it appears, though, some truckers didn't haven't saved up money. And uh, there are truckers going out of business now that just can't afford the fuel. And... You know, it's whatever. I don't know about that part, but I have heard that, uh, you know, if Canada had and United States just a, a shutdown, truckers just shut down, don't drive anymore. I mean, Trudeau and Biden would have to do something, okay? They'd have to intervene. I mean, something has to be done. I mean, just as people drive in your four wheelers, you know, your four, you know, your, your cars and minivans and pickups and whatnot people can't continue paying these prices okay well, i personally cannot continue to keep paying two dollars a liter for gas for much longer okay and everyone's financial situation is different obviously i'm not a doctor i don't have doctor or lawyers pay coming in they could maybe they can afford three dollars a liter 
But at what point does someone who is in the upper middle class and you know millionaires and beyond, at what point do they say we can't afford this either? Like they're looking at, or that, or perhaps they can afford it if you're a millionaire, billionaire, but maybe the stock's running out, so they're in the same boat too. There's like okay, there's no supply, um, but the, everyone's gonna feel this pinch. So I heard a trucker. So I just the guy, you know, he said he was he was uh, talking about. In his 40 years, you know, he never seen this before. And he's always, and when he's seen bad times, the guy was saving up money. Six months worth of money in the bank. And he said that every trucker should have that so they can turn the truck off. If for whatever reason you're sick or something happens and you can't drive. So he was saying all truckers uh, worldwide really should shut the trucks down for 60 days. And let, you know, hey, something's got to be done. These fuel prices are ridiculous. No one can sustain this for much longer. The mass of people, middle class, and people you know working on minimum wage. I mean, it's hitting everybody at every different level. Okay, and at what point do people just go, I can't drive my car to work. Okay, it's costing me $200 a week to drive to work. I, I can't afford it anymore. And then you're like... Uh, you know, so so what do you do then? You know, people, what do you do when the food prices get to be as much or more than your house payment, your rent on an apartment, whatever? So just something a trucker said. He said, we want to get these gas prices down. We want to get the economy back into a, a position. It's It sounds fairly harsh, but shut the trucks down. North American wide. Truckers stop driving for 60 days. Just stop driving. And then we'll see how long it takes for Trudeau and Biden to come out and do something, okay? So that's it. Stay free. Take care.